Hi guys, and in today's video, I will be doing an overview of the Gary Fisher Kaitai from the year 2000. It's very old. So, I'm just going to be giving you an overview of some of the parts and what it can do. So, let's get straight to it. So, starting off, can it ride through water? Yes, it can. What about rocks? Can it do those? Yes, it can. Can you ride a skinny with it? This is sketchy. It shouldn't exist. Maybe with a more skilled rider, you could do it. Okay, so time to the actual overview of it. We're just gonna start the front and go to the back. I'll tell you what upgrades I have and stuff. So starting with the front, we have, oh no, I forgot the name. Wide handlebars, $6, stem from Amazon, stock cap, a SR Centaur XCM fork from Fuji, a front Alex disc rim, front cheap disc brakes off of Fuji, I don't know the name. Uh, don't know the name. Shimano Dior, which is upgraded. Black Ops pedals, which are upgraded. Boop. Um, the rear cassette is stock. I think it's some sort of Shimano. Rear V-brake, it doesn't even have the option for disc brake. Uh, water bottle holder, you don't really care about that. WTB saddle, Mark grips. Um, rear tires, Gator F Serifos. And the front tire is a WTB. Um, the rear rim is a Bontrager Super Stock, which probably means it's stock. Um, it does not have integrated cords, things, brake lines. It's a 2000, so it's pretty old. And because it, and no, of course not any hydraulic stuff scratch just um, below the stanchions. Stanchions are le leaking. It's got a cool paint job. And uh, let's see more stuff that it can do. Can it ride on the road? Yes, but can't all bikes do that? But can you take good photos with it? Yes, you can. But can you take good photos without it? Yep, you still can. Can you get good videos of it falling over? Yes, but why? And then it was getting kind of windy and starting to rain as shown in the next two clips after this, so I decided to ride out of the beach before everything got soaked and blown over. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and bye!